Let me ask you this. Are you struggling right now with taking massive action and being consistent in your life? You told yourself these habits are important. You told yourself these goals are important, but you find yourself all of a sudden doubting yourself or procrastinating. Can you relate? If so, I want to pay close attention to these five steps I'm about to share with you today that allow you to be more consistent in your life so you can actualize your full potential. Are you ready? Born ready, right? Comment that in the chat box below. Without further ado, let's go on to the first step to being consistent. Understand the pain of consistency is far less than the pain of regrets because it can feel painful for you to take massive action every day. But understand this, that not taking massive action every single day is actually far more painful. Because when you get to the end of your life, not having actualized your full potential, not having achieved these goals, having said a lot but not done a lot, how would you honestly feel? you'll feel like that you didn't make the most out of this precious thing we call life. So if we was to add up all those hours every single day you're spending, overthinking, procrastinating, feeling stressed, feeling down, not taking action, wouldn't you agree it will amount to a lot of hours you're wasting of this precious thing we call life? You've got to make a decision today that I'm going to squeeze every single drop out of this precious thing we call life and understand that life is a risky journey either way. We can't escape the risk of life. I tell you how risky life is. Nobody's going to make it out alive. And I say that with best intent at heart and hopes it will wake you up today because sometimes it feels scary for us to take massive action. But understand not taking massive action, that will be the ultimate risk you're actually taking because that will lead to a life filled and full of regrets. Don't let that be you in your life. Inaction is a still form of action. And every day we have to purposefully act upon what's important to us. Are you feeling this, by the way? Let's go on to the second step, which is commit to becoming a person of integrity. What does this really mean? Well, let me ask you, in the past, have you ever told yourself you're going to do something like a habit or follow through on a goal? But as soon as it became a little bit overwhelming or hard, you decide to quit. When you agree it's happened to you in the past. If you were to be honest with yourself, you have experienced that. The problem with this is this. The more this happens over and over again, the more we keep on saying we're going to do this and we don't do it, there eventually comes a time where your mind no longer believes a word you say. Because you let yourself off the hook too many times. It's kind of like if you had a friend who kept on promising you every day that they're going to show up for you. Maybe they're going to meet, meet up with you and they kept on not showing up. Would you ever trust that friend? Would you ever show up for that friend after a while? No, eventually they will not even be your friend. And that's what's really happening in terms of your subconscious mind. Every time you're going to say, or you say to yourself that you're gonna do something, but you don't, eventually your mind does not believe a word you say. And so if you truly want to feel unstoppable every single day and be consistent, First things first is write down every single habit you told yourself you're going to do and you want to commit to the small stuff just as much as the big stuff. Because people say often that they want to achieve this financial success. They say they want better health. They say they want better relationships. They also make these small commitments such as I'm going to meditate every day or I'm going to stop binge watching Netflix and guess what they're doing next day? Binge watching Netflix again. How do you possibly expect to, to follow through on the big promises if you can't do the small stuff. In order for you to do the big stuff, you've got to do the small stuff in your life and become a person of integrity. Is that making sense? So that's the second step. The third step is to set yourself up to win. In order for us to succeed in life, what we got to do is we're going to set ourselves up to win. Studies have proven, for example, if you want to go, if you want to take a habit such as going to the gym, and you want to really make that into a real habit whereby you're doing it every single day. If you put your gym outfit next to your bed, whereby it's within reach the moment you get up, you are literally 80% more likely to go to a gym because you've set up the environment in your favor. So what you want to do is analyze the things in your environment that is cultivating the bad habits. And you want to eliminate the triggers that's reminding you to play out the, the bad habits in your life and you want to make it invisible, hide it, make it hard for you to play out those bad habits. And the good habits in your environment, you want to make it obvious, you want to make it visible. You want to make sure you can see it and it's easy for you to play out that habit that you told yourself is so important. 
set yourself up to win so you can win in your life. Making sense? The fourth step, this is hard, but if you do this, you will be consistent today. The fourth step to being consistent is to burn the bridge. Burn the bridge. What do I mean by this? In order for you to truly commit, you want to do something today. So that way you've made a real decision. To decide means to cut. It means to cut. It means to do something so there's no going back. It means to truly choose. There is no middle ground when you've really decided. So a great example of this is a story of this writer who was struggling and he was struggling to write this this letter that he was about to sell to publishers. And every time he tried something, he struggled. Eventually come, came to a point whereby he could hardly afford to pay his bills. So his wife came to him and said, if you do not make this writing stuff work, you will need to go back to a job. And in that moment, he decided to imagine if somebody had a gun to his head, how would he write this letter? How would he honestly approach this if his life was on the line? If it was all in. And in that moment, he came up with all these ideas he never thought about before because he was truly committed and the bridge has been burned. And so he had an imaginary gun to his head and he wrote this letter and that letter ended up being published over a hundred million times. And that's how successful it really was. And the moral of this story is to not, of course, get a gun to your head, okay? What the moral of this story is, is the power of burning the bridge. We always know what that safety net is in our life. You want to really burn it. So for example, maybe you want to tell your friend, hey, friend, these are the goals I'm going to follow through with today. If I don't follow through on these goals, I am at the end of the week, I'm going to, I'm going to do this forfeit. I'm going to go into the mid middle of a shopping mall and I'm going to give, give a massive, I'm going to sing a massive song out loud in front of everybody. I'm sure you probably don't want to do that, right? So that's an example of burning the bridge. Or maybe you want to put some monies on the line. Whatever is for you, burn the bridge so there is no going back. That's the, that's the fourth step. The final step to being consistent in your life is to adopt the whatever it takes mentality. What is the whatever it takes mentality? Well, most people in life are only willing to do whatever it takes when they feel comfortable, when life seems easy, when life seems good. This is not willing to do whatever it takes. This is called conditional action. And the problem is, rarely in life do the ducks come up, come in a low perfectly in a line, meaning you'll be waiting for the rest of your life, for that perfect moment which will never come. As a great quote goes, we've got to take this moment right now, make it perfect. How? By adopting the whatever it takes mentality. What does it mean to truly be a whatever it takes person? It's to understand that in life, you either have reasons or results. You either have excuses or successes. There is no middle ground. Today, you have to make a commitment to give up all those excuses. Today, you've got to make a commitment to give up all these reasons. And don't be too surprised when all of a sudden you start finding your successes. You start finding your wins. Let go of those reasons and tell yourself today, whatever it takes, and whatever you've fallen off track with, make today day one. Pass is in the past now. Today, in the present moment, is a clean slate awaiting your command. And so you got to take action of your life and make it day one. Are you ready? If you're committed, comment, commit in chat box below and let us know what are you going to get back on track with. And let's keep doing whatever it takes together.